Hey everyone, Daniel here. Today we're going to be talking about the best approach to scooping for singers. This is a big one, isn't it? Shakespeare said, to be or not to be, that is the question. The question for us today is this, to scoop or not to scoop, that is the question. Today I'm covering what happens when we incorporate a scoop into singing. See, the first thing to ask is why singers scoop in the first place. Singers scoop for a lot of different reasons. Now, one is the genre of music that they're singing. It requires it or has been identified as a genre that uses the scoop technique. Unfortunately though, many singers fall into the trap of the scoop, which becomes a very hard habit to break. When this happens, the singer is held in bondage to scooping. In the description below, I want you to check out this amazing vocal performance of Nikki Wilde's exceptional execution. Now, I have worked with countless clients that insisted that it was their style. I'm okay with that, but then I asked them to sing me the verse without scooping. Guess what happened? Yeah, the client couldn't do it. This revealed how much of a bad habit it had become. But there's good news. Now I can train the singer out of the bad habit hole, not rabbit hole. With hard work and breathing techniques, the client quickly experiences freedom in their voice. A free singing voice is not limited to tension, but to ornaments used in a song. See, scooping is an ornament technique applied to the voice. So what do I mean by ornament? Well, in singing, ornaments are the beauty placed on the voice. For example, when you get a Christmas tree, the Christmas tree is mounted, right? And the family adds ornaments that enhances its beauty. If the family does not like a particular ornament on the tree, well, they can just take it off. The same applies to the singer. Scooping is an ornament for the voice, based on the genre, but more precisely sleep on the song. Just because a genre has a strong foundation in scooping does not mean that every sentence or word needs it. What we aim to do is use scooping as an ornament that brings beauty to a particular sentence. So when a singer can apply these techniques, they will have an instrument of guiding control and be free from the shackles of the scoop. For example, in the bridge of We Can Work It Out by the Beatles, a scoop would not be a good idea. When listening to the lyrics and rhythm, they are quick and precise. So scooping in the bridge will lead to a less than desirable singing technique. The exception could be a scoop on the word time, because time already has a scoop naturally built into it. Let me give you an example. Life is very short and there's no time for fussing and fighting, my friends. So you see where I added a couple of scoops there. You don't want to be doing life is very short Oh, that would sound horrible. Why? Because the rhythms are precise. Make sense? A helpful way to check yourself is to video yourself in singing to get a clear picture of how much or how little you may be using the almighty scoop. In fact, in the description below, there's a link to a blog that discusses that. Would you like to learn more about the vocal technique? Well, check out the link also below for my course called Vocal Guitar Master. And remember, keep singing and playing guitar.